syst I want to get rid of the system's edge mm -hmm. because uh, so world building thing mm, we have established that exiting transit uh, means a release of a catastrophic release of energy mm -hmm. uh, so what's happening uh, and uh, and for that uh, we need a lot of buffer space but but uh, depending on a given situation, I wouldn't even place the exit wheel fields at the system's edge all the time. Like, for example, uh, in our solar system's example, like, after Saturn, there's an ass load of pretty empty space. So, mm -hmm. so for example, if you're a, if you're a tiny, tiny ass uh, shuttle who only uh, causes a little catastrophe, and doesn't like I don't know produce a black hole or anything uh, in in their wake. Then uh, there's no need to uh, to introduce all that extra travel time. So it's I would guess that some I don't know big freighter ships like big as the <laughs> space equivalent of container uh, ships <laughs> would have to take. Uh, have to take it slower and and longer mm -hmm. and have to materialize farther and and etc but for these little ones uh i think uh i'm going to fudge fudge and relax stuff a little bit mm. this does the idea that the quote unquote container freighters or container ships mm -hmm. uh that they use different methods. I don't want to say different routes, but different methods, or they have to go to different locations. Um, they, that... they have to adhere to different uh, safety protocol, mm. would it, uh, is what I would say it boils down to. That plays into a short story idea that I was knocking around. You know when we were throwing the idea around of like, uh, you know, Space Janitor? or mm. the guy who deals with the trash. Well, mm. one of them was like the space truck driver. So mm. I have given some thought to this, but mm -hmm. it, it needs more of this star world building to properly mm. flesh it out. Yeah, but uh, all that said, uh, since uh, entering transit actually gobbles up energy, it doesn't uh, doesn't cause a burst, but it, it causes, I don't know, like a little crack, or like if you're... If you're near something hot, then it uh, then it maybe consumes that uh, that heat or whatever. The, the physics is very fuzzy. <laughs> it is <all> completely <laughs> made up. <laughs> don't don't try to criticize it based on realism. But mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, basically, uh, since since the assumption is that yes, uh, exiting transit or terminating transit releases a an ass load of energy, but entering doesn't or initiating doesn't. So the uh, so the safe location to enter transit doesn't have to be that far away from anything living or, or important. So here I would just introduce some arbitrary dotted line after which it's it's okay. And again, it would uh, it would differ uh, ship to ship basis, and it would differ based on. Uh, based on your mass and based on how uh, how powerful your your transit computer or whatever mm. <laughs> techno bubble techno bubble techno bubble <laughs> 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 but but basically the idea here is that they don't have to travel a whole lot they will only have to travel somewhat <laughs> and and I need to word it in a sort of I need to gloss over it in in such a manner that it doesn't sort of become a snag in the reading. <laughs>